Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know that I have a very, very small little homestead on my property here in Southern California. We have some chickens, we have one small blueberry plant, one small strawberry plant, and some fruit trees that have only produced one lemon. So far in our time here, I've produced one pumpkin. It's very small. That's that, that's my point. But my goal is to definitely produce more than I am right now, but we're in a new build. Things are getting established and hopefully in the long run this will all pay off and it'll feel more successful than it is so far. But something that I'm so excited to say that we have finally gotten is a freeze dryer. We ordered it a while ago and it wasn't supposed to show up for another couple weeks but it showed up early and now it arrived. My husband is like in the process of getting it totally set up. If not, he's probably done it already, to be honest. And I'm just so excited to kind of include this freeze drying process and different things going forward with you guys. Obviously, I'm excited to freeze dry candy because that is just a hit. I know that, you know, it's sold a lot around. It's expensive if you want to buy it, so at least I can make myself some without spending an arm and a leg. And I'm also really excited to freeze dry my own fruits because the kids eat freeze dried strawberries and apples like crazy. I buy them from Dollar Tree because that is the place that I've found is like the cheapest per ounce. But I'm like, I'm sick of going and buying like 20 bags of freeze dried strawberries and apples. So it'll be nice to make them at home. You know, I have a vacuum sealer for my mason jars and just kind of prep that all for our family. But the other thing I am super excited to freeze dry are like more meal type things like freeze drying uncooked eggs that have been scrambled up. Uh, freeze drying like sloppy joes or spaghetti or like other meals that will be good for like 25 years. So in case of there's an emergency, I know that I will have more substantial food for my family rather than, you know, just like the bare basics that you might have just on hand that you've purchased recently. So when I got the news that our freeze dryer was coming in, I immediately that day went to the store and picked up some essentials. I got some apples, some strawberries, blueberries. I got random candies, Skittles, of course. I see those freeze dried all the time. And like I mentioned, we have chicken, so I have plenty of eggs to go around to freeze dry those as well. So we got the medium sized one and it came with, let's see, came with five of these really long trays. So when I make like scrambled eggs, I'll blend them up, put them in here and then freeze dry this entire sheet and we'll get, hopefully a fly won't get in there. Um, then, you know, we'll get freeze dried eggs, powder it up and save it that way. The package that we got also came with some oxygen absorbers, 50 of them, and then 50 pack of Mylar bags, which is how you would store the food. Of course, if you're not using like a mason jar. And then I was surprised, I didn't know that it came with the impulse sealer. So this is a way to seal the Mylar bag so that it is completely like airtight and then the oxygen absorbers would go in the bag just to kind of keep everything as fresh as possible. It also came with a vacuum pump, this oil filter thing, don't really know why, so we need to read more into this, as well as some high vacuum pump oil, which is pretty light, so I'm pretty sure Juan already did something with this. So our house is pretty small, and I'm coming into a dark area. I'll turn on the light in just a second, but the only reasonable spot that we could come up with is storing our freeze dryer in our laundry room, which again is small. I think originally we were contemplating the garage, but it does get very hot. And so if the machine is running in the summer, we don't want it to like ruin the machine. So we thought that somewhere inside where it's a little bit more temperature controlled, somewhere with a vent, you know, we have our vents up here. So, you know, it, it's... A better spot but it is a little bit bulky so here is the medium sized freeze dryer and i will go ahead and put this on wide angle you can see it takes up a whole bunch of space it probably can scoot over maybe a little bit probably not actually because of that tube but uh we wanted a table here but the table we got it was going to be too flimsy for this thing so we might end up putting a table and having it just be a little bit higher to 
work with easier, but for now, this is gonna be its home. Again, not ideal, but we don't, I mean, I'd rather have like a not ideal setup and not be so concerned about the machine dying on me than having it be in the garage a little bit more out of the way, but then have it die and then, you know, we're out this big investment. And also like it is an eyesore when you come in here, it's not gonna make my laundry room like the prettiest, but we don't really come in here that often unless it's to do laundry. And if I keep everything else clean in here, yeah, it'll look kind of like bulky and out of place, but it'll serve its purpose and all should be well. If it doesn't end up, you know, working out well for us here, I do consider like our master closet to be an option for a place to store this thing. I don't have a lot of clothes. Juan doesn't store a lot of clothes actually in our closet. He uses more of like our dresser. So that closet is kind of my crafting area. And if I go through things and streamline them, we can make a space for this freeze dryer and I think it would be fine. We haven't really like run it to see how loud it is, but based on what I've heard, it's kind of like a, a fairly loud but white noise. So I wouldn't mind having white noise running at night if that is when we are using it. But anyways, that's kind of my big update for this video. It's not my typical video, but I'm just, I'm so excited to let you know that like now I may have some content where I'm making freeze dried stuff. Maybe I'll show you guys some time lapses. If there's something you're interested about, like, can you freeze dry this item or whatever? Maybe I'll give that a try and test out different things. But like I said, I think I'm most, probably most often we'll be doing strawberries and apples, then candy and then prepared meals. But I'm, you know, obviously in nowhere, like no way an expert. So I have a lot of growth, a lot of experimenting to do, and I'm just so excited to have this for my little homestead that will hopefully be a slightly bigger homestead in the upcoming years. If you guys are new here and this content seems interesting or if you like party preps or just really all things mom, I would love it if you stick around and subscribe or check out another couple videos and see if what I have to offer is something that you guys enjoy watching. If you guys like this video or you're just as excited as I am for my freeze dryer, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and I will catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.